Welcome to Thought for November the 5th. Our readings today are taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 34, Hosea chapter 2 and Acts chapter 16 and 17. And our thought is in the eighth year of his reign. Reading the context about the one who is described as being yet a boy, we discover he was 16 years old. Who was he? What did he do at this age? Well, of course, it was the young King Joash. Re Today, we read in Second Chronicles 34 about a really young boy who was eight years old when he began to reign, as we read in verse 1. His father Ammon had died after reigning only two years, but he was a very ungodly king. Like his grandfather Manasseh, of whom we read in Second Chronicles 33 verse 10, the Lord spoke to Manasseh and to his people, but they paid no attention. You know, the Lord speaks to every generation these days through his written word, but so few pay any real attention. Well, this 16-year-old boy we read in today's chapter that in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet a boy, he began to seek the God of, his, of David, his father. Second Chronicles 34 and verse 3. When he was 20, he began to act to destroy all the false places of worship. At his command, they chopped down the altars of the Baals in his presence. We read in verse 4 of Second Chronicles 34. When he was 26, he gave orders to repair the temple and make it fit for use in the worship of the Lord. In the process of doing this, Shaphan, the secretary, reported to him, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. Verse 15. After it had been read before him, the king sent and gathered together all the elders. We read in verse 29. Then the king himself read in, the he in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant. Chapter, verse 30. The result was a great reformation. What a total difference reading God's word makes when it is read with intent and purpose of a heart that is seeking to know God better and develop a real relationship with him. How great is the need for such a reformation today? In those days it was initiated by the king, as we will read tomorrow, but today it has to start with the individual. And God has seen to it that his word is available to be read by all individuals and those who are awake and see the need to really seek God and who are ready to practice the result of such a seeking and will make sure that they read it. What position are you in? Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day once more that together we can open up the pages of God's word remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.